Many General Hospital fans were thrilled when John J. York brought Mac back to Port Charles late last month. Not only were viewers happy to see the beloved actor looking healthy and happy again after undergoing a stem cell transplant to treat two forms of cancer, but many audience members were hoping to see Cody finally confess that he was Mac's biological son. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Mac will discover he had a child with the late Dominique anytime soon. Cody's decided that he'd still rather keep his father in the dark about their connection. But as portrayer Josh Kelly revealed to Soap Opera Digest, despite the rapport between the two men, Cody feels caught between a rock and a hard place. Cody's feelings toward Mac's family have gotten deeper, Kelly confessed. He's really entrenching himself into their lives, so it's like he's digging his own grave by not coming clean about the true nature of his relationship with the Scorpio clan. Cody lied to Mac about the results of their 2022 paternity test and has regretted it ever since. Kelly added that Cody isn't quite sure how, after all this time, to tell Mac they are father and son. After all, he flat out lied about the results of the DNA test the two took back in 2022, a decision he's come to regret. He's really ashamed of what he did, and now he feels like more of a liar, Kelly pointed out. He lied about the paternity test, and sometimes it feels like it's easier to live in a lie than confess to it. As much as a guilt-stricken Cody longs to be a part of the Scorpio family, he's actually quite afraid to upset the status quo. He's got a good thing going. Everyone's getting along right now, Kelly concluded. He knows that if he tells the truth, it's gonna cause chaos and it might cause irreparable damage. Knowing Mac, Felicia, and Maxie, we highly doubt that would be the case. Cody, fans would probably tell you, wasn't an immediate hit on General Hospital, despite his dramatic entrance as he literally dropped out of the sky. But like many daytime faves, that changed over time as Cody grew not just on the audience, but on Sasha as well. Their romance, not to mention his heroism, during it helped turn him into leading man material. And finding out he's actually Mac's son hasn't hurt either. They call me the slow burn. Josh Kelly chuckled when he spoke with Steve Burton Jason and Bradford Anderson Spinelli on their daily drama podcast. And hey, it's a burn that's paid off so far, but was somewhat forcibly stretched out when John J. York had to take a break from General Hospital for cancer treatment. When he left, Mac was still completely in the dark about his son though Cody and Sasha both knew. The good news is York's treatment has gone well and he's most definitely not gone for good, so this story will wrap up. I try and message John York, Kelly told the guys at Daily Drama. Not too much, maybe I should do it more. I have no idea but I'm hoping he's coming back soon and we can analyse that storyline. Though maybe Cody should do some analysing of himself first, seeing as his reaction to finding out he was Mac's son was lie, lie and lie some more. My justification for the character, the actor explained, is one, he honestly doesn't have a whole lot of self-worth and he doesn't, he doesn't feel like he deserves to be happy in general. He sabotaged relationships and career and things. You have to be willing to let yourself be happy when you've got a dad like Mac. He's one of the most steadfast, kind, supportive men in Port Charles. There's a reason Maxie sees him as more her father than Frisco. I don't want to grow up Jones. But that can be tough to accept into his life for someone like Cody. I think it started, Kelly said on Daily Drama, with not feeling like he deserved happiness. Cody's been abandoned by everyone. Even his adopted parents didn't even really want him. This character who's never felt accepted. And so he just assumes that people won't accept him. And that's why seeing Cody and Sasha build something has been so great to see. And maybe it's why the slow burn that the Big Mac reveal has become could be a good thing. While we wait for York's return with Mac, Cody has been learning how to accept love into his life and find some self-worth. So by the time we see Mac again, maybe, just maybe he'll be ready to come clean with the truth on his own. We know Mac. We know that in the end, he'll welcome Cody into his life as his son. But it will go so much easier if it comes from Cody himself. Fingers crossed that that's something he, himself has learned, 
by the time York and Mac are back in action. While happy that John J. York is back on General Hospital, Josh Kelly also has another scene partner he'd like more time with. Josh Kelly has his hands full as General Hospital's Cody. Between finding his way with Sasha, taking care of horses, and wrestling with his father issues, he's been busy, but has one scene partner he'd like to work with more often. Josh Kelly's Cody is still trying to figure out whether or not to tell Mac they are father and son, and it seems like it should happen soon since Mac's portrayer, John J. York, made a triumphant return to General Hospital after a battle with cancer. Recently, Kelly told Digital Journal that it was great that John J. York is back on the soap opera as of yesterday. That was so much fun. I love getting to do events with him, and I really enjoyed talking to the fans. He was referring to a coastal entertainment fan event which was held in the summer of 2023 that the two had previously done. Now that the scene partners are back together, Cody just needs to man up and tell his old man that, well, he's his old man. The whole notion of Cody feeling too inadequate to receive Mac's love if he tells him the truth is so much bolder dash, and given his current relationship with Mac's family, it seems Cody no longer believes that as well. The question he worries about, though, is whether or not Mac will forgive his deception. While we sit with bated breath, waiting for the reveal, there's another scene partner that Kelly would like to interact with more. After explaining that his future plans would involve trying to do as good of a job as I can, and hopefully I would love to do more movies and just do my best, the conversation turned to G.H. He noted that he would love more screen time with Dominic Zamprogna, who plays Detective Dante Falconeri, Cody's best friend. I would love to explore Dante and Cody's storyline further. I think it's fun, and it can go somewhere interesting, he explained. Dante knows that Mac is Cody's biological father and has remained mum since his friend asked him to. But that kind of stress is going to eventually weigh on the cop and roll downhill until he convinces Cody to do the right thing and fess up. Kelly also explained that he learned a great deal working on General Hospital, relating, playing Cody has taught me a lot of things. I haven't worked with kids as much until recently. I get along with kids such as my nieces, nephews, and my friends' kids. I've been giving Maxie's son on the show horseback riding lessons. It is fun getting to work with kids. He, of course, was talking about Gary James Fuller, the energetic youth who plays Maxie's kid, James. He truly enjoys working on the soap, remarking that the show has been great. It is an honor to be working in the daytime field in general. He further added, the show has been around for over 60 years, and it has touched so many lives. It really is a privilege to be a part of it.